Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Cobmon Islands for Minecraft 1.20.1. So there are multiple different ways to install this mod and I'll be going through each one today. So depending on your knowledge, I'll leave timestamps in the description for each different download. So firstly, with every Minecraft mod, you're going to need Java. So what you want to do is head over onto the Java link, which is right on the screen here. And all you want to do is simply click download Java. And when you go ahead and click the download Java button, it should just install Java straight away. You then want to open up the launcher that it creates and install your Java. I won't be doing it today because I already have Java installed, so I don't want to mess anything up. But now that Java's installed, we are ready to play Minecraft and add some mods. So for the first install, it's going to be a little bit more challenging than your normal install. So if you haven't got great knowledge when it comes to downloading Minecraft mods, definitely skip to the later on install. But anyways, for the first one, what you want to do is head onto your Google browser, or you can click the link in the description for the Cobblemon mod. Once you get onto here, you'll see Curse Forge for the Cobblemon mod. And depending on which launcher you want to go with, there's Fabric and there's also Forge. Go to the most recent version of Forge, click on it, and then click Download. Now, once you've installed your mod, what you want to do is head over to Forge. Now, if you want to download this from the link, obviously, it'll be down in the description. If not, just go into your Google browser and type in Minecraft Forge 1.20.1. And what you want to do is click here on the installer for the most recommended version. Once it's installed that, you just want to run the program, let it install, and then it will be on your Minecraft. Now that we've got both Forge and Cobblemon downloaded onto the computer, there is one more mod that we now need to install, which is right here. It's Kotlin for Forge 4.3.0. I will leave links for this in the description. And once that's downloaded, you want to open back up your Minecraft launcher. Now for this, it should say Minecraft 1.20.1 if you've done everything correctly. If not, just load up on here, click the arrow, change to your latest one, and then change that to 1.20.1, load it up, let it play through, and then do the forge bit again, and it should work for you. Next, what you want to do is hit installations up at the top here. So you want to locate your forge, you want to go across here and open up the folder. Now, once this is opened, it will open up your .minecraft. All you want to do from here is right click, click new, and folder. Now, type in exactly how I do, type in mods. No capitals, nothing like that, just exactly as I've done right here. Now what you want to do is open up the mods folder and drag both of your new mods into this folder. There we go. So we now have both of our mods into the folder. You can now close off this because we don't need it anymore. And all you got to do is simply click play. Now once your game is loaded up, hopefully it will say down the bottom right here for mods loaded. You can click on your mods to check it out as well. And as you can see, we have Cobb Mom. Now what you want to do is click done, head on to multiplayer, add a server, and type in the IP address play.cobblemonislands.com. And as you can see, we can now load onto the Cobblemon Islands server. Now, once you get in, it will prompt you to download the mod pack. I would highly recommend you do this as there are so many amazing features in the server, which will help and benefit you so much if you have the resource pack. So you just go ahead and you click yes, it automatically downloads for you. And once it's loaded up, you'll be able to experience the amazing world of Cobblemon Islands. And if you ever do see me on the server, make sure to say hello. Now for the second and probably the easiest way to download Cobblemon Islands, which is the way that I always go with, all you got to do is head onto the Technic Launcher, which will be linked in the description. Obviously, first you need to get your Java, but once you've done that, head onto Technic Launcher, download the corresponding one that you would need for so Linux, Mac, or Windows. For this, of course, I would do Windows. I already have Technic Launcher though, so I won't be using this today. Once it's installed, you want to open up the launcher, let it all run through, and then eventually you'll be greeted with the Technic Launcher, which will look something like this. What you want to do then is head onto Mod Packs, go onto the search bar, and type in Cobblemon Islands, just like that. And there you go, Cobblemon Islands Official it is right here. Obviously, I've already got it installed, but for you, it will say Install right here. So you just want to click Install, wait for it to go through, and then it will be sat just down here for you. All you want to do then is simply click play. And then it will load up Cobblemon Islands. And you are straight onto the server. Just super easy. Super quick. And if I'm going to be honest, I would definitely recommend going through the Technic Launcher. And with that, you are now able to join and play on the Cobblemon Islands server. Hopefully this install tutorial was very helpful for everyone. And I hope that you will get it working. If you do see me on the server, don't be afraid to come by and say hello. But with that, I really hope you guys enjoyed the server. It is so, so amazing. But if you did find this helpful, make sure to subscribe. See ya!